if you already know what you're doing for backup and restore, then go ahead, back up your course in the old Moodle 2.2. Save the .mbz file to your desktop. Restore the file into your new course in the new 2.4 Moodle site. That's it! The backup and restore process has altered slightly due to our move to Moodle 2.4. Your courses for Fall 2013 and into the future are in the new Moodle, and your courses for Spring 2012, Summer 2012, Fall 2012, Spring 2013, and Summer 2013 are on the old Moodle 2.2 version. To back up a course from a previous semester, log in to the old Moodle version. Navigate to your course, Click Settings and Backup. The screen changes. Click Next. The screen changes again. If you want all of your course content to be included within your course, go to the bottom of the screen and click Next. The next screen confirms your selections. Move to the bottom of the screen and click Perform Backup. Depending on the size of your course and the backup, this process may take several minutes. Once complete, the screen will change again. Click Continue. The screen changes to show the user private backup area. The course you've just backed up is generally the first on the list. You have successfully backed up your course. From this screen, you have the option to download the file you just created. Click the Download button. The Download pop-up menu appears. Click OK. What happens next depends on the browser you're using. In Firefox, a green arrow appears to the right of the navigation bar, indicating that you have downloaded a file. Clicking the arrow will create a pop-up menu with the file. Clicking the folder will open the folder where your file is saved. Drag the file and save it to your desktop. Open Moodle 2.4 in a new window. From your list of courses, open the course you would like to restore. Typically, these are the courses for the upcoming semester. In the interest of time, we have our course open in another tab. In the Settings menu, click Restore. The User Private Backup Area is once again displayed. Click Choose a File. The File Picker window appears. Click Upload a File. Click Browse. Navigate to the Desktop folder if you have saved your file on the desktop and select it. Once the file has been selected, click Upload this file. The screen changes to confirm the details of the backup information. Scroll to the bottom and click Continue. The next screen provides two restoration options. You can restore into this course or restore into an existing course. Because we are already in the course we want to restore, we need to choose one of the two options from the Restore into this course menu. Do not choose to delete the contents option. If you do, you will remove yourself as a user from the course because you deleted the information and you will not be able to access the course you just restored. Choose Merge the Backup Course into this course and click Continue. The screen changes to the Restore Options window. This screen confirms the data of the restoration that we want to do. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Next. The screen changes again. Scroll to the bottom and click Perform Restore. Depending on the size of your course will affect the length of time it takes for the course to restore. The screen changes when the course finishes restoring. Click Continue. As you can see, the course has been successfully restored. Don't forget to change your theme and do other things to make your course great. This concludes the tutorial for Backup and Restore.